Hello everyone, this is Monika Suranshi from Informatica MDM support team. In this video, I am going to present you like how to use REST call in MDM. So agenda for the video, first we will see REST call overview, then we will see web application description language file and then we will see the demo. So REST is nothing but representational state transfer composite service call. It is web service request in the form of URL. Uh, it uses visual file which contains XML dis description of the REST web services. Uh, so in MDM version 10 we can use REST calls to um, <coughs> by using REST call we will use composite objects uh, through which we can create update, delete and search for a base object records in the composite object. REST composite service calls allow you to create a custom user interface that runs JavaScript to make REST calls. The MDM hub assigns a unique URL for each base object in a composite object. You can use the unique URL to identify which base object to upload or delete. For that we, ca we will use web application description language which contains XML descriptions of the REST web services. So operations performed by REST. Uh, we can use POST request which will create record in a base object. PUT request will update the existing base records. Then GET request is used to read the record from base object. Delete is used to delete the record and search we can use to search the record. Now we will see what is web application description language file. Web application description language file contains XML descriptions of the REST web services, all the REST URLs and all REST parameters. MDM hub generates a visual file for each ORS. The, so the location of visual file will be in the form HTTP host port uh, colon port slash cmx slash cs files. Let me show you the one uh, example of web application description language file. So here is the example of a uh, visual description language file. So if you see we have opened it with the host colon uh, 98 is the port slash cmx and slash cs files. For each ORS you will find one vis uh, visual file. Let me open you. Okay. So this is the example in which it, it contains the file which contains XM, uh, which contains all the application in the XML form. We can use uh, representation state transform uniform resource locator to make the rest composite service calls. So we will see how can we use this REST in the SOAP UI. So what we need to do is we need to copy this visual file in one of the notepad and then go to SOAP UI. Go to files. Click on new SOAP UI project. Since I have already saved that file with the name cocs.dawl let it open ok we, we have to click on this open dialog to create rest service let me show you one more time go to file click on new soap ui project add rest services browse click on the file it will create a project with cocs name cocs test okay. okay you can see that cocs test project is created and here uh, you can find all the base objects created 
so you can see that post is used to create the organization get is used to search the organization put is used to update the organization delete is used to delete the organization record and get is used to get the organization record so we will see uh, how to get the organization record so this is the request when you click on request it will open a window here we need to provide the organization id i will pass the row id 1 then you have to check that your username and password authentication you have provided then we will run the request you will get an response it will give you row id object uh, dusn number then party type and display name you you can find there are two links so let me show you let me open this link and show you okay so this second link will give you all the organization details and if we run this first link here we have mentioned depth is equal to 2 so it will show you child records as well so let me show you the link which is having depth is equals to 2 if I open here so you can find out that for uh, under organization you have address child subject area and then you have details in details you have three records so it's showing three records and uh, for the telephone number you have one record it is showing the details of telephone number now we will see how can we insert record in a bio to create record in a organization we need to use a post request so here i will open one post request to create new record in a base object we need to run it uh, we need to provide an XML so this is the XML which I am passing to create a new record and so it will create a new organization record these are the items which I need to uh, insert in the organization record and then in the details child subject area I will pass three records this is first which will be closed within item clause so this is first record this is second record and this one is the third record then I closed details and in telephone number I am passing only single record so this is the XML which I will pass in the post system name is the compulsory field which we need to pass currently I am passing system name as admin you have to provide your authentication details and run the request you can see that it has created new organization record with the row id object as 1929 let us search for this record 1929 ok uh, So we have created an organization record with a row ID object 1929. If I search for that record, you will find it. 
now let us open this URL So if you see right, you can see that this is the host number, then this is colon, you can see port number, then slash cmx slash cs. This is the database ID and then this is the organization. Organization is name of your um, parent root record and after root, uh, root object, you can pass the row ID object. Since this URL is for the child object, it uh, contains path with a depth is equals to 2 so that you can see the child, uh, child as well. This is how we will configure and use REST API to call the composite objects. For more details, you can refer composite op composite service guide. We would love to hear from you on support videos at informatica.com. Also, you can connect with us through twitter.com. Thank you.